Greetings, if you're watching this, it's because you're considering buying this uh, portable fabric steamer. Um, I have not had this out of the box yet, but I will do so right in front of you and set it up and attempt to de-wrinkle something. Um, and so we will see all of you can see together. Um, please bear with me, this will take a while because I'll have to fill the unit and wait for it to get hot and maybe even ignore some directions. Uh, okay, so pan down a bit. And it comes, comes with a little oven mitt. I guess this thing really is going to get hot, huh? Alright, so here is the unit. Let's get this guy filled up. And again, bear with me because this is going to take a while. But you will see it from beginning to end, and you will know for sure at the end whether it works or not. Because I will say, I certainly don't know if it's going to work or not. All right. I happen to happen to have some water here. I will fill it up to the max level as instructed. Alright, that done, I will now turn it on. Um, so, it says 90 seconds, it is about, it was about a minute and a half when I started it, so let's, uh, let's see how this goes. It certainly sounds thunderous. Um, I have uh, I have obtained from my closet at great personal expense a wrinkled shirt. Because, you know, I'm, I'm always ironing and stuff, so it's hard to find a wrinkled shirt. Not really. um, it's been about 40 seconds now. You can maybe hear it uh, bubbling away over there. Maybe a good time to breeze over the instructions a little bit. It says, do not tilt. Do not leave in one place too long or else it will burn. Certainly is doing something. You can see the see the bubbles on the inside. So it's thinking about heating up. Okay, so this guy is really going. There's a lot of steam here, so all right. So man, this sucker is almost terrifyingly going at it. Let's try to steam something. Without burning ourselves to death. Well, so this seems to be doing something. You can probably see the steam pretty well. I'm afraid that it's going to spout out and burn the crap out of my arm or something. But <clears throat> And I would say that it, it has done its job. I mean, if you look at, here's here's the wrinkled section, and I'll give it a, give it a go again. I had not previously done that section, but if I give it a good steam, then Sorry. Just go ahead and turn that off before it explodes. If I put a look back at that spot that was previously wrinkled, it is pretty <clears throat> well, it's alright. It's not great, but um, it is less wrinkled than it was before. I would not call it I would not you could do a better job with an iron. Um, but some parts of this look as if I have Look as if I did not um, knot them up to intentionally wrinkle them just a few seconds before. So, um, my general impression of the uh, of the unit, it it's effective. It does its job. It's a little terrifying because you you're basically holding this boiling pot of water. You might have been able to hear even um, the the angry 
the angry water in there just going to town. So um, it's a little bit concerning. I mean, it seems safe enough, but just from a usage standpoint, you're talking about a small contained um, area of water in a very small nozzle. So it would have taken a long time. It would have taken a couple fills probably to iron that uh, iron this entire shirt. So maybe good for you know spot ironing, but. Yeah, it's just it's, it's just so small that it would be sort of a pain if I wanted to use it, you know, in a, in a bigger area. So, um, at any rate, I hope that was a helpful demonstration. Um, it, so it it does work. Um, if there's something else I should be telling you about things like this, then please leave me a comment, and I'll try to do better next time. But until next time, happy shopping.